Hey friends, welcome to Flight Test Tech, I'm Josh. Today we're gonna to show you how to build and install the optional landing gear kit for our Boom and Flurkin. Now this optional landing gear kit is gonna make it possible for your Boom and Flurkin to not only be able to take off of grass and asphalt, but it's also gonna handle incredibly well on the ground. This design and configuration may look scary, but it's actually one of the easiest planes to take off and land because of its widespread landing gear and its tricycle configuration. The tools we're gonna to need for this is gonna be some Zappa Gap Instant CA, medium thickness is my favorite, some accelerator, heavy duty wire cutters, and a hot glue gun. Let's go ahead and get our materials in order and we'll get started. All right friends, for our Boom and Flurkin optional landing gear kit, the following pieces we're gonna have here is our main landing gear wire. This is gonna be cut into sections for both our nose gear and our main gear. We're gonna have our plywood pieces here and we're gonna have our three 35 millimeter wheels. The tools we're gonna need for this are gonna be a ruler, some instant CA zap and kicker, and also our wire cutters. Let's go ahead and first start by popping out all the pieces that you see here, and then we're gonna lay them out, identify them, and then glue them together. So for our wood pieces here, we have our main nose gear. That's gonna consist of our two side pieces, our side piece doublers, and our top plate. Our two main landing gears are gonna be our two side plates, and also the top plate. First, we're gonna start putting our attention towards our main landing gear, and we're gonna glue our little doublers in right over top here. This is not only gonna make this area stronger, but it's also gonna help the wheel center and roll easier. With just a simple twisting motion here, we're gonna put our doublers on. We'll put a drop of glue right at the very bottom on both sides. I'm gonna press this down into place and let it dry. All we simply need is a twisting motion and the wire will come right out. Later on, we're gonna use some instant glue to be able to seal this back in and glue it in place. All right, I have one down here. I'm gonna go ahead and slide my next doubler on. Again, all we need is just a gentle twisting motion. It's meant to have a lot of friction there. We can slide our second plate on. And just like before, I could take a drop of my zap glue line it up, and then press it into place. If you want to come back with a little bit of accelerator and speed up the drying process, feel free to do so. Now that our doublers are glued in, I'm gonna go ahead and place one side of my plate doubler into my top plate, and then I can slide on my wheel. I'm gonna pull this back, just a little rotation moment. Press our other plate in. And with a little bit of rotation, we'll press it on through. Now that we have our center wheel put in here and we're happy with the placement, we can use our Zap CA and put a bead of glue right down on both sides. I'm a big fan of the medium thickness CA and I also like the aerosol style zip kicker. You can either use a pair of side cuts or some heavier duty wire cutters. We're gonna cut this medium landing gear as close to the side plate as possible, and then we're gonna put a drop of CA on both sides of the wire. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> all right, so our wire is all cut here. Let's go ahead and finish off the front nose gear with a drop of instant glue on both sides. I'm gonna lay one down. We'll kick it. Our main nose gear is now done. Let's go ahead and put our tension now towards our main landing gear. For our main landing gear wire, we're gonna just use a table as our friend, and we're gonna press this down into place. Now before we glue this into place, we wanna make sure that it cups the bottom of the booms of our flurkin. So we're gonna use the flurkin at this time to get our proper spacing on both sides to make sure it's a proper angle. So you can see these cutouts here that we're gonna be removing in just a second. What I like to do is I like to simply just slide this right over top of that cutout and make sure that we're happy with that angle. Once we are happy with that angle, I'm just gonna flow in a bead of glue and hold it into position. I'm just gonna put a bead of glue down both sides. After about 15 seconds, we'll give it one last test fit, and that's perfect. Let's go ahead and do the exact same process now on the other side. Again, we're gonna press this down into place. This area of wood is pretty thin in the middle, so I like to use the table as my friend. There we go. And again, we can put a little bit of pinch pressure on here, line it right over top of the booms. 
And then what I like to do is just hold it just enough so it easily comes off. And then I'll flow a bead of glue on both sides. Getting right back on there, we'll just do a quick test fit. And that's wonderful. Let's go ahead and put our flirk into the side here. And we're gonna bring back our wheels. And you're gonna notice that there's a little tiny bump on both sides of our landing gear plate. That's to help the wheels naturally center as they roll down and not rub against each side of the foam of the booms. To put this in though, it's gonna have a little bit of friction as we rock this in, because this area here is gonna actually be a little bit more narrow than the foam tire itself. And I'm just gonna come in from the very bottom here. Little rotation's all we need. And there we go. Now just like our nose gear, we're gonna pass the wire through one end and then through the other. And then we're gonna make sure that our wheel rolls nice and easy. And just like before, we're gonna cut the wire loose. There we go. And once we confirm that we're happy with the way that the wheel rolls, that there's no real restrictions, we can put a drop of glue on both sides. If you have different brands of Zap adhesives, I definitely wouldn't recommend using the thin because the thin's gonna wick down into every crack. Make sure you use either the medium or the gap filling. All right, that's one landing gear down. Let's go ahead and do the next one. Same process as before. We're just gonna rock this wheel in. We're gonna pass our landing gear wire through. And then we're gonna cut off any excess. There we go. So now we have our main landing gear and we have our nose gear all assembled. Let's go ahead and bring in our flurkin. We'll cut out the holes that we need to and we'll get them installed. So you're gonna notice on the very bottom of the flurkin here on the booms, we have four little lines indicated on both sides. These four lines are gonna be the areas that we're gonna cut between to be able to remove the foam. Now keep in mind that we have a lot of wires underneath here. We don't wanna accidentally cut through this. So when you're using a razor blade, make sure you don't go any deeper than about a quarter of an inch. So you don't accidentally snag one of those wires and cut them. There's one. And there's two. Let's go ahead and do a quick test fit here and make sure we're happy with the placement. It looks like we just need to open up our cavities just a little bit more. So I'm going to do that right now. Once you got your placement and the wheel rolls nice and easy, you're going to notice that these marks line exactly up with the hole. We can put a bead of glue on the very top and the very bottom here. Notice I'm focusing on the very edges so it doesn't accidentally squeeze in. I'm going to line this up and press it into place. There's one. Let's go and do the same process on the other side. Again, we're gonna just do a quick test fit. You can see that it just kind of grips a little bit on the side here, so I'm gonna take my razor blade. I'm gonna cut off the excess. There's one side. Here's the other. There we go. And now that we're happy with the placement, Put a bead of glue on the front and a bead of glue on the back. All right. I always like to kind of just sit this down, make sure we're happy with the way it rolls. That's wonderful. Now for our next step, we're gonna be cutting in two slots for our front nose piece here, and that's gonna be to mount our nose gear. Now one thing to keep in mind, you really have a lot of freedom on where you line this up, but we wanna keep it forward enough where the plane doesn't naturally tip over when you give it power, but we also wanna keep it back enough to keep this at a positive angle of attack. So to get that proper angle of attack and get that nose far enough ahead, we're gonna measure three inches from the very back of the bottom of our nose to this point right here. And I'll just make a little scratch mark. Now we're gonna center up our landing gear, and which is a little bit of rocking pressure. You're gonna see two indents equally spaced from the center seam. Now that we have those two indents, I'm gonna carefully cut that out. Once we've made our two indents, simply take your razor blade and cut out those two slots. 
opening up the channel for your plates to pass through. Now with a slight rocking motion, we can rock this down in. And just to make sure that we're happy with the placement before we glue this in, we're gonna slide our nose back in one last time and we're gonna confirm that we have plenty of rotation angle, which this is perfect. And at the same time that we're sitting at a positive angle of attack. Now that we're happy with that, I'm gonna carefully rock up and out our front nose gear. I'm gonna put a nice healthy glob of glue on both sides and in the middle. And then we're gonna press it down into place. Friends, our optional landing gear for our Boom and Flurkin is now done. We're ready to take this out and put it up for a nice maiden. This option here is going to give you the ability to go over grass, over asphalt, over pretty much any surface that you want, except for water and snow. That's going to be something that's going to be covered in the future with our optional all-terrain Flurkin add-on kit. Now that kit's not going to come out till later in the fall, but when it does, it's going to make this plane truly an all-terrain option for you to be able to fly anytime. Friends, I truly appreciate you building along with me. I can't wait to see the kind of memories that you guys make with the new Boom and Flurkin, especially with this landing gear kit, and we'll see you in the next video.